Wave accounting for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you how to use wave accounting as a beginner for your small business. So let's get started. Uh, first, what you have to do is you will simply go to waveapps.com and you will land on this platform right here. Wave is an amazing platform that allows you to uh, do accounting and you can create your own professional invoices with wave the signing up process for wave is really easy so let's sign up what you can do is you can sign up with your email address and then you will simply set up a password simply click on create your free account and your new account will be created on waveapps.com after you sign up for wave you have to add your zoho to your wave so what happens is because wave is a platform that helps us create invoices so we will need an account on zoho or maybe your you know google account or any other platform that you are using wave works with zoho books uh, better than anything else so what happens is we will require an account for which we are going to be creating our invoices and for which we are going to be doing our accounting right so we will have to simply go ahead and uh, you know create our zoho books we can simply create our zoho books within our wave through our wave.com so that's what i am going to do now i will get started with zoho books first and then we will simply add different options such as accounting and creating invoices through our wave so welcome to zoho books through wave we have to add information right here we have to add our company name i'm gonna go ahead and you know quickly fill this up so i have quickly filled in that form now i will simply go to access zoho books you simply have to add you know your company name your email and that's it and then you simply get your zoho books through your wave and then i can simply go ahead and use wave with my zoho to do accounting and to create professional invoices so this is uh, where you have to add more information now i have signed up with my zoho books and now i just have to add some of the information right here we have to add the organization name which i added how to global we have location we have state and province we have uh, you know time zone currency and then we can simply click on get started and then we will get our own dashboard you can see right here now i have my zoho books and i also have my wave where i will be able to create my own uh, invoices and do accounting so you can see right here with my dashboard i have wave as well because i signed up for zoho with my wave so i have all of the options right here this is the dashboard that you are going to get we have items we have banking sales purchases accountant reports and documents as well this is the main dashboard if i want to add any receivables i will add right here you know total payables i will add them right here and i can just simply go ahead and do accounting i can add different items i can you know create invoices i can actually link my banks and credit cards to my wave right here we also have account watch list so what happens is now it depends on you how you want to create your invoices or how you want to create your own uh you know accounting dashboard so you will find this plus icon right here which is a quick create and we can actually create anything we can create an item we can create journal entry we can create customers estimates invoices customer payment vendors expenses bills card payment honor drive there are a lot of options with wave and we actually get all of them so let's add an invoice let me show you how you create an invoice with your wave it's super easy to use you will find all of the options right here in purchases we have other options in account we will get the more options than in banking you will be able to add any uh, you know bank account or credit card so set your transaction preferences uh, do you like uh, discounts at an item? I don't give discounts. Select any additional charges. Uh, there are no additional charges. And then I don't want that. So I will simply click. So these are the few of these settings that we have to add just for the transaction preferences. Now I can create a new invoice right here with my wave. So what I have to do is I will simply add the customer name right here. 
and whatever the customer name is you can select uh, any customer from your list that you already have or you can create a new customer right now that's what i am going to do because we just signed up i do not have any customer to add a new customer you will see customer type business or individual then we have primary contact we have first name last name we have a company name then we have customer email customer phone website other details as well so you will fill this up and then let's say that this is alex and it's a business the primary contract is mr alex and the last name is smith company name is how to digital let's go with that and then we can also add a website so once you have added all of the information and then you will simply click on save and your new contact will be saved uh, with way we can actually add many information about the contact if we want to we can add their facebook we can add their um, other information as well so now we have a new customer which is alex that i just added then I have to add the invoice number. This is going to be the invoice number. This is the order number. So let's say the order number is 0009. Um, the terms are uh, due on the recipients or I can just simply add a net date. Then we have a subject, any subject you want to. Let's call it content payment. Then we have the item details. I will have to add items right here. Let's add this payment is maybe for the scripts they did for me or maybe anything else so i will add it right here then you have to add the total amount as well you can see right here the amount will be added in here let me just go ahead and add the quantity is one the rate is okay let's say that they provided me with 10 scripts and each script was 20 dollars so this is now going to be my total you can see right here uh, my total is going to be 200 and this is the currency right here i can also change the currency if i want to this is how i want to get paid and then we have to uh, add all of the information as well once you have added you can actually save it and send this invoice from your wave to them or you can save it as a draft as well for now i'm not gonna you know save it and send it i'm just gonna keep it because it's just a uh you know random invoice that i just created but that is how you do that you can also add items you can add bankings you can go for purchases accounts and reports in reports we will be able to check out all of the um information about everything what is happening what is the budget and how much we have paid how much we have to pay the profit the loss everything will be shown right here in the reports and this is how wave helps you with your accounting and to manage your small business better with wave you get a lot of different features and with these features you can actually run a very successful business and keep track of your budget and keep everything in check so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to sign up for wave and how you can use your uh, wave dashboard with zoho books and what are the different features we get in zoho for our small business don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel